final leg, back again to talk about the Jamaican women, but this time I'm talking about why Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the favorite for the women's 100 meter dash and Eugene 2022 this year. Now, we're just gonna kind of talk through this because I just saw that Elaine Thompson pulled out of the Birmingham meet because of some of setbacks in training or some little injuries. What's notable is that, so she's run a couple hundreds this year. She did run at the Mount Sac meet. She ran that 10.89, but she unfortunately didn't get to run the final at the Mount Sac meet, right? She only ran in the prelims. She did run a couple meets after that. She uh, ran one race or one or two races, but she's been, you know, a little questionable with the injuries. Now, because of that, I think this is kind of solidifying why Shelly Ann Fraser Price is a favorite for gold. Of course, Elaine Thompson, she won the Olympic golds last year in both the 100, the 200, and of course, uh, got together with the 4x1. But take a look back at her world championship performances. 2017, well, 2015, let's go even further back. Her first global championships was in 2015 in Beijing. She got the silver medal behind um, Daphne Skippers in the 200 meters. That's her breakout. She runs, you know, it, both her and Skippers run extremely fast in that 200 meters. She doesn't run the 100 meters there. Fast forward, 2016, she runs both the 100 and the 200 meters, gets double gold there. Shelly and Fraser Price is slightly injured coming back from injury, and she's able to get the bronze medal there. So, Lane Thompson taking the win at the Olympics. Now, fast forward 2017, Elaine Thompson actually has an amazing season. She runs 10-7 multiple times throughout the season, and she's actually ranked number one in the world in 2017. But she unfortunately finishes fifth place in the 100 meters. She deals with a couple injuries. If you take a look back at the London Diamond League, I think it was in 2017, she ran with flats, and I think she ran 10.9 something in flats. So she was still extremely fast, but she's been dealing with some injuries, got her fifth place at the World Championships. Fast forward 2019, she unfortunately gets fourth place at the Doha World Championships again, dealing with a couple injuries, not able to put it together when it actually matters most, but she does run very fast throughout the season. 2021, of course, we see her win the Olympic gold in the 100 and 200, run extremely fast, 10.54 at the Prefontaine meet, and of course, she's able to run 21.5 as well in the 200 meters. People probably have her as the favorite coming into the world championships and entering this year just because of how fast she is. But we cannot forget about Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Shelly Ann Fraser Price is, in my opinion, still to this day, the greatest women's 100 meter dash sprinter in history. 100 meter dash, not overall sprinter, not 100, 200, just 100 meter dash. Of course, Elaine Thompson is a little bit faster than her already, right? But overall, if we're thinking about consistency, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2015, 2016, 2019, um, well, 2011, she actually got fourth place. But in all of those years, between 2008 all the way up to 2021 with the Olympics, she has been a consistent 100 meter medalist and gold medalist. Gold in 2008, gold in 2009, gold in 2015, gold in 2019, right? Bronze in 2016, silver in 2021. So she is the most consistent 100 meter dash sprinter that we have seen you know, in history, in my opinion, in history. In addition, we got to think about what she's been doing, not only last year with her multiple times under 10.7, right? 10.63 and 10.60, but also what she's done this year, 10.67 seconds into a slight headwind running in Kenya. She is already hitting on all cylinders. And also, she doesn't have to worry about the Jamaican trials. Now, Jamaican trials is not too tough for Shelly Ann Fraser Price or for Elaine Thompson or even Sharika Jackson for that matter. But just the fact that she doesn't have to worry about that, she has one date on her calendar, right? The Eugene World Championships, the 100 meter dash, prelims, semis, and the finals. That's the all, all she has to worry about, that one race, those three races, but you understand what I'm saying, right? That one event. That's what she's focusing on. That's what she's targeting. So for her to run 10.67 already and have her targeting the world championships in mid-July, I think this bodes very well for her. And remember, at the Tokyo Olympic finals, Shelly Ann Fraser Price made a slight mistake, right? She stumbled, I think it was on the second or third step out of the blocks that messed up her momentum, messed up the rest of her race, and she ended up running 10.74, still an amazing time, but you know, she wasn't able to compete really with Elaine Thompson as many of us ex expected. I think she's coming back with a vengeance, looking to defend her title because of what she missed out on, thinking that she was going to get that Olympic gold last year. 
she's not even looking like she's 35 years old, right? She is running as if she is a newcomer on the scene with those, remember in 2008, right? When she was winning that Olympic gold in Beijing, her eyes opened, she was like cheering right, right across the line. She looks like that young sprinter that we all remember from back in the early 2000s, right? 2008, 2009, and all that. I think Shailene Fraser-Price is the favorite. I, I've always seen her as the favorite because of this trend of, you know, Elaine Thompson not doing well at the World Championships. But this pullout from Birmingham from Elaine Thompson is really kind of giving me some flashbacks of what was happening in 2017 and 2019 with her injuries. Now, I still think that the Jamaican women will probably be able to sweep the podium. I still think Elaine Thompson has a lot of room for her to be able to make mistakes and still be significantly ahead of the rest of the field. Go check out the last video I just did speaking about how I think right now the Jamaican women are poised to sweep that 100 meter podium. But if we're just talking about the gold medal, I think Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the favorite to win the 100 meter gold medal. And let's be real, I don't. I personally don't think that's too much of a hot take. I think Elaine Thompson, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, in my opinion, they've been even for the most part. Of course, I spoke about a lot of other women in the 100 meter dash, right? You have Dina Asher Smith, you have Maria Jose Talu, you have Tiana Daniels, you have Mujinga Kumbunji. Um, you have a plethora of other women. Uh, Christine Mboma, she's unfortunately injured, but definitely a lot of other women in the world who are going to be able to contest and really challenge for some podium spots in the 100 meters. But again, thinking about the gold medalist, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, she is not new to this. She knows how to put together a very good race. And even when she makes some small mistakes, right, 2021, 2016, she was a little bit injured, she is still able to get on that podium. If she is in full form, if she's healthy, if she's running like she's already been showing for 2022, she is I, I don't I don't know if definitely, but I think she's going to be that gold medalist. She's definitely my pick for the gold medal as we, you know, depending on how the season progresses. Let me know what you think. Do you think Shelly Ann Fraser-Price is going to be able to, to defend her Olympic gold medal? Do you think Elaine Thompson is going to be able to win her first world championship medal, her first ever medal in the 100 meters at the world championships? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.